what is going on everybody welcome back to another video and it's i just posted a video the same day that i'm filming this so this will probably come out in a day or two um from the video i just posted but um probably tomorrow but today it's a beautiful day it's like january 30th some hold on january 31st so it's almost february it's beautiful it's like 70 degrees nice sunny beautiful day beautiful day especially like t since two weeks ago we had six six seven degree weather so this is a very nice upgrade i should say today we're going to be doing a little bit of fishing in that pond down there i ain't fished it in almost a year probably over a year normally there's not that much fish in there because it drains a lot a lot of brim that's about it so we'll hope that they survive the freeze got the GoPro and the chest mount and we're going to uh, rig us up fish a couple fishing rods and uh, yeah go fishing so first we got to rig up let's look in here for baits we may just go the old grasshopper traditional just go put a grasshopper on the hook but what do we got down in here oh we got pliers we'll need these Ooh, we may just go Cinco you know what we're gonna go Cinco this little little hook it's a bitsy brim hook circle hook this is what I use during the summer the great the how I catch most of my fish in the summer I go around catch a grasshopper in the yard put it on a hook and catch like three fish off of one grasshopper most of the time for bass I've got the El Cinco the tried and true this is my favorite bass bait this and a spook you give me a spinning rod and a bait caster, I'll probably be running this in a spook. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna hook it right through the hook it right through the middle, just like that. And it's gonna dangle just like this. You can catch plenty of fish that way. Now we're gonna leave the pack of baits up here because I doubt we'll catch that many fish. Take the plier, put them in our pocket. And I'll switch all over to the GoPro. Here we go. Okay. I know the Go, my GoPro, not that good of footage, but hey, it's a lot easier than trying to hold a camera and fish. Um, hook that right there. Oh, hold on. Hook that. Right, oh, what? Why is this line keep? There we go. Okay, we're tight. It's a weightless worm, so you just throw it out there and it's gonna sink down. You just pop it. Let it sink. Pop it. So. Oh, hey, there's a little bass right here. Oh, there's a couple fish. There's a little bass, I can see him. He's, he's right here. It's like... Dude, I need to get like a little curly tail grub or something. Something small. Because this bait's about the size of that bass. Oh, I just... Spooked a uh, little bluegill. There we go. Man, I'm just throwing out there just like that. Oh, I had a bite. As soon as it sinks past where you can't see, they they get it. Over there. 
And since it's weightless, I can't really tighten my string. So I can't really feel them. So I'm just watching for my uh, string to take off. Oh, sink at the moss. Okay. I'm gonna try to get him over here. There we go, right there. Right there. No? Wow. Hmm. Well, I did get a bite because they tore up my grasshopper, so it wasn't just my line doing weird things. Dude, if I could catch one that's like this big, I'll be happy. We just had a big rain and washed all this out, but we went and got a culvert for free and Dad put it in with the tractor. What, oh, mate? We're here in the wild jungles of Arkansas. We're trying to catch the bluegill. There's a boss right there. There's a, it's under the log. There's a boss under the log. Little boss, little boss. He's right there. There's a couple other little ones with him. I spooked him out of there. One of them looks interested. Dang it, I accidentally spooked the boss. Draw this crap over here. Dude, these things are spooky. And they're hiding under this log. There's a log right here. Oh, I just got a spot it with. Oh my line. on the log. Oh, get off of there. Don't you? Oh, that log moved. stepped on a log to go walk out there, a smaller log, walk out there and try to get my bait. And that smaller log moved. And I don't have my my uh, normal rubber boots on. Well, we're gonna try. We ain't got much grass harbor left, but we're gonna try to do what we can with what we got. I still barely seen so oh, he just disappeared. Hey, there's a bluegill right here. Okay, oh, there he goes. He's, he's looking at it. Hey, he's looking at it. There's a bluegill. He's diving down for it. 
Oh, he, he hit it. Oh, I got him. I didn't even know he had it. I thought he just, like, pecked it. Looky there. Look, little sunfish. Boy, you swallowed that hook, didn't you? Well, I didn't just come out here and film this for nothing. Alright. This is where the pliers come in handy, especially for bluegill, because they got smaller mouths. Get my grasshopper back, buddy. Thank you. All right, toodaloo. Oh, got one. Let's go. Mm, he must have been on it for a while. Ah, dang it, he's bleeding. Come on. Don't worry, that hook's gonna rust out eventually. And that fish is gonna be totally fine. Alrighty guys, this is gonna be the, the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the GoPro footage. We caught two fish. Last one I had to cut the line on because Gut hooked him and uh, couldn't get it out, and I didn't want to kill him, so I just cut the line. That hook will rust out, he'll be totally fine. Crawdads work pretty good. I uh, went over the actually stay on the hook, still ain't, still ain't caught that mama crawdad, but um, maybe I will one day and catch a bass on her or a catfish. But anyway, that's gonna be the end of this video. Make sure to like, make sure to like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and hit that bell. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.